Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sibum Banza. So I filmed this video about two or three times and both times it was 10, 15 minutes long and it was all over the place and I just couldn't explain anything properly because there was just so much to say. So I decided I'm going to instead make it a QA. and I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of things and then at the end, I'd love you guys to leave a comment down below with any questions you have and then I'll be able to answer everybody's question individually. From the title of this video, I'm talking about being a full-time YouTuber. I'm talking about this whole idea of pursuing my dream um, and doing YouTube full-time. So a couple of weeks ago, I told you guys that I am dropping out of varsity and I am doing this full-time. Um, and a lot of people have asked me, Sibu, what does that actually mean? Like, what does it mean to do YouTube full-time? What do you do with your day? Do you just make YouTube videos and hope money falls out of the air so you can pay rent? No, that is not what I do. It will be great though. Oh, shit. What I do is very difficult to explain because every day is different. Every week is different. You know what, I'll just tell you what an average day in my life is like. So if I'm not somewhere shooting, if I'm not doing anything like special on that certain day, my day will start with me waking up at like nine o'clock, depending on how late I sleep. I tend to sleep very late, I struggle to sleep. The first thing I'll do is like, I'll go on Twitter and then um, my laptop will usually be beside my bed because I would have been watching movies or something the night before, put it on my lap and um, reply to emails because people <laughs> apparently get to work at 8 and send emails between 8 and 9. Without fail, when I wake up at like 9, half past 9, I'll have emails waiting for me. Um, I'll spend about an hour, an hour and a half replying to the emails, all work emails usually. Um, when I say work, it's very, it's like a broad thing. Um, so when I speak about work, I, I, I don't just mean me making YouTube videos, I'm talking about going to events i'm talking about doing interviews replying to like blogs i'm like every all of that to me um encompasses what my work is which is why it's so difficult to explain because there's so many different facets to it so then i'll wake up and i'll do that and i will then go and i'll take a shower i'll have some breakfast and i will start planning um either a project i'm working on or the youtube video that i need to post um, now the reason I haven't been posting as often as I should be is because I'm working on so many projects and it's like this this thing of um, the, the more content I make, um, the more people see me, the more you guys share it, the more brands see it and want to work with me, then the more content I get to make. But what I didn't realize is how much time um, doing projects, um, shooting different things for different companies and brands, how much time it takes. Um, and I, I absolutely enjoy doing it. But one thing I never ever want to stop is making YouTube videos. And I feel like I'm slowly getting so busy doing that other stuff, which came from YouTube. So I never ever want to stop what like the core of me is, which is making YouTube videos. So I will plan a YouTube video if I have a meeting that day. I try and plan all my meetings like on the same day. So like if people want to set up meetings, I'll say like Wednesday for everybody so that I can rush from meeting to meeting and then Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday can just be me working. And then what happens is I will, yeah, so I would have planned and I will shoot like this. Like literally that's what I did today. Now I'm shooting the YouTube video. After I'm done shooting it, I will edit. I always try and shoot and edit on the same day or I get lazy. And if I shoot today and tell myself I'm gonna edit tomorrow, I end up editing next week. And then I will post the video. And then the other part, the projects part I was speaking about is basically where a brand will come to me for example I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna use a brand that I would probably ever do anything for so blue pillows comes to me and goes Sibu we would like you to speak about our blue pillows on a YouTube channel or come on our channel and speak about blue pillows um, and usually I don't actually I don't do branded work for products um, I'll try my best not to and this I really really like the product then I'll then I'll do it like I really like this pillow so whoever made it let me know yeah I, I usually like try to 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 work with ideas to work with movements that's very broad but you'll you'll get what i mean um as the year goes by they'll come to me and they'll be like sibu solve this and then we'll set up a meeting and i'll sit down and be like how do you want to do this and then they'll tell me and more often than not i'll be like that is not how we're going to do it i will come up with an idea a, a project a campaign whatever it is around social media and i will speak about whatever thing it is they want me to do it's it's so difficult to explain because this is so broad because on the one hand i'll be working with a brand where i'll be speaking about it on my channel or on my twitter instagram facebook 
and on the other side and they'll want nothing to do with being on my youtube channel and another brand will completely want to be on my youtube channel and another one won't want me to do anything on my social media just on theirs so they want to put my face on their social media if you ever tell anybody that i call myself this i will find you and i will bury you alive so i am a social media personality which means that when brands are looking to do campaigns or advertising on social media they will go to an ad agency the ad agency will find social media personalities like yours truly once again you tell anybody i ever call myself that i swear then they'll come to me and they'll be like sibu so there's this blue pillows and they want to work with social media personalities and i'll be like cool cool what do you need us to do more often than not they'll come with idea sometimes they won't come with any ideas and i'll have to come up with an idea which which i don't i don't prefer either actually because more often than not it just ends up being a culmination of the two so then once that job is over um we'll move on to the next more often than not i'm doing two or three at a time um and yeah, that's the nice thing about freelancing is the fact that I can do three jobs at the same time. Luckily, I have a team who helps me sort of concentrate on just creating. So I have Gwen, who's my producer, and we'll speak about what Gwen does on another vlog, or you can ask me. Uh, and then I have Jamie, who's my publicist, and we'll speak about what Jamie does. I'm going to keep it that short. If you have any questions from there, hopefully that sort of sparked your brain into asking me a question, please put it down in the comments below. I'm going to do a Q&A either later this week or next week, and I will try and get through as many questions as I can. Please ask anything and everything. It is a super cool job, but it is very difficult. Even as I have a team, I am stressed a lot of the time, but it's it's good stress compared to the stress that I was getting at like Varsity, which was like eating me up. This is, this is very good stress. I like this kind of stress. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video, share it to as many people as possible. If you have a friend who wants to be a YouTuber, who's thinking about being a YouTuber, send them this video. Uh, I love you guys' support as usual. Um, coming out with super cool things in a couple of weeks that I know you're going to enjoy. <sighs> love you guys. Peace. That was great.